Ha! There, I did it. Okay, better. Things are better now. Now that now the screens are separated. The VODs will still be messed up, that's okay. So here, Chinese language is spoken by the ethnic Han Chinese majority and many minority ethnic groups in China. About 1.2 billion people around 60% of the world's population speak some form of Chinese as their first language. I'm going to get to talk to 16% of people in the world if I'm successful in learning. The varieties of Chinese are usually considered by native speakers to be regional variants of ethnic Chinese without consideration of whether they are mutual intel intelligible. Due to the lack of mutual intelligibility, they are generally described as distinct languages, perhaps hundreds by linguists who sometimes note that they are more varied than the Romance languages. Instant investigation of the historical relationships among the Semitic languages is just getting started. Currently, most classifications posit 7 to 13 main regional groups based on often superficial phonetic developments, of which the most populous by far is Mandarin, about 8 million speakers. Southwest Mandarin, followed by Min, 75 million, Wu, Shanghainese, and Yue, Cantonese. Okay, these groups are unintelligible to each other, and generally many of the subgroups are mutually intel unintelligible as well. Not only is Min Chinese a family of mutually unintelligible languages, but Southern Min itself is not a, is not a single language. There are, however, several transitional areas. Where languages and dialects from different branches share, share enough features for some limited intelligibility between neighboring areas, examples are Nuzhang, and dialects from different branches share enough features for some. <laughs> I'm reading the same sentence. Okay, this isn't super important. Uh, based on Beijing dialect, it's an official language of Chinese, similarly to one of the national languages in Taiwan, Taiwanese Mandarin. Interesting. Influence grouping grammar. This is kind of what I want to read. Chinese is often described as a monosyllabic, syllab, syllabic, monosyllabic language. However, this is only partially correct. It is largely accurate when describing classical Chinese and middle Chinese. Classical Chinese, for example, perhaps 90% of words correspond to a single syllable and a single character. In the modern varieties, it is usually the case that a morpheme, a unit of meaning, is a single syllable. In contrast, English has plenty of multi-syllable morphemes, both bound and free, such as seven, elephant, para, and able. Some of the conservative southern varieties in modern Chinese have largely monosyllable monosyllabic words, especially among the more basic vocabulary. In modern Mandarin, however, most nouns, adjectives, and verbs are largely dissyllabic. A significant cause of this phonological attrition, sound change over time, has steadily reduced the number of possible syllables. In modern Mandarin, there are now about 12,000 possible syllables, including tonal distinctions compared with about 5,000 in Vietnamese, still largely monosyllabic, and over 8,000 in English. Okay, that's super interesting. What is, um, more syllables in English than Chinese? That's crazy. Uh, the phonological collapse has led to a corresponding increase in the number of homophones. As an example, a small Langenshi pocket Chinese dictionary lists six words that are commonly pronounced as Shi. Ten. Tong Two. They are well. They are all. They were all pronounced differently in early Middle Chinese. They are still pronounced differently in today's Chinese. They are, um, a lot of stuff. I don't care about. However, when one of the above words forms a compound, the disambiguating syllable is generally dropped when the resulting word, the resulting word is dissyllabic. For example, she. Alone, not she told, appears in compounds meaning stone, for example, plaster. Yeah, it's just this this character means stone, and when you put it with other stuff, stone, it, it makes different words. But most modern varieties of Chinese, most modern varieties of Chinese have the tendency to form new words through disyllabic 
trisyllabic and tetracharactic compounds. In some cases, monosyllabic words have become disyllabic without compounding. Uh, especially in gene. Chinese morphology is strictly bound to a set number of syllables with a fairly rigid construction. Although many of these single-syllable morphemes can stand alone as individual words, they more often than not form multisyllable compounds, which more closely resembles the traditional Western notion of a word. A Chinese qi can consist of more than one character morpheme, usually two, but there could be three or more. All varieties of modern Chinese are analytic languages in that they depend on syntax, word order, and sentence structure rather than morphology, i.e. changes in word, changes in form of a word, to indicate the word's function in a sentence. In other words, Chinese has very few grammatical inflections, it possesses no tenses, no voices, no numbers, singular, plural, though there are plural markers, for example, for personal pronouns, and only a few articles, equivalents to the, a, uh, and an in English. That is super important. They make heavy use of grammatical particles to indicate aspect in Mandarin Chinese. This involves the use of particles like le, hai, yin jin, and so on. Chinese has a subject verb, subject verb object word order, and like many other languages of East Asia, makes frequent use of the topic comma construction to form sentences. Chinese also has an extensive system of classifiers and measure words. Another trait shared with neighboring languages like Japanese and Korean. This is true. Other notable grammatical features common to the all-spoken varieties of Chinese include the use of social verb construction, pronoun dropping, and the related subject drop. Although grammars of the spoken varieties share many traits, they do possess differences. Uh, loan words, modern borrowings, Ooh, I kind of want to read about romanization too. Romanization is the process of transcribing a language into Latin script. There are many systems of romanization in Chinese writings due to lack of native phonetic transcriptions, transcription until modern times. Chinese is first known to have been in Latin, written in Latin characters by Western Christian missionaries in the 16th century. Today, the most common romanization standard for Chinese is Hanyu Pinyin, often simply known as Pinyin. Introduced in 1956 by the People's Republic of China and later adopted by Singapore and Taiwan, Pinyin is almost universally employed now for teaching standards spoken Chinese in schools and universities across America, Australia, and Europe. Chinese parents also use Pinyin to teach their children the sounds and tones of new words. In school books that teach Chinese, the Pinyin romanization is often shown below a picture of the thing the word represents, with the Chinese character alongside. The second most common romanization system, the Wade Giles, was invented by Thomas Wade in 1859 and modified by Herbert Giles in 1892. As the system approximates the phonology of Mandarin Chinese and the English consonants and vowels, it is an anglicization, and it may be particularly helpful for beginner Chinese speakers of an English-speaking background. Okay, maybe I'll check out that out. Wade Giles was found in academic use in the United States, particularly before the 1980s, and until 2009 was widely used in Taiwan. When used within European texts, the tone transcriptions in both Pinyin and Wade Giles are often left out for simplicity. Wade Giles' extensive use of astrophobes is also usually omitted. Thus, most Western readers will be much more familiar with Beijing than they will be with Beijing. Yeah, that's totally, totally true. And with Taipei, then Taipei, Wade Giles. Oh, that's really annoying. <laughs> the simplification presents syllables as homophones, which are really not, which are really are not, and therefore exaggerates the number of homophones by a factor of four. Um, let's, let's check that out quick, and then we'll get into some grammar, I think. I don't know if this is going to be any easier.
Chen Shi. Maybe this would be easier because I didn't have the stu Bao Zu. And yet, the equivalent name is shown to the right of each name. Pecking are historical artifacts. Roman design names are really been used for a long time. Gauls and devised, and we chose to retain the existing spellings rather than confuse the new ones. Sun Tzu. Honen. Fukien. Sheng Tzu. Chu Yun Ching Hai Hamoi Ta Ya Moi Moi Ya Moi Check in Chin Te. This is totally much easier, I think. Fu Jung Wan Ho Kansu Kiri. But I should probably learn Hey, tomorrow for stream I have um I'm gonna try maybe some Japanese writing. That would be really cool. During my Stardew stream. I really like the idea of this. Okay, let's. What was I learning? What was I looking at? The structure of the Chinese language. There we go, some tips. I'm really just stabbing the dark here. When I go about learning something, I just keep Googling new things until I find a way, a method I like. So far, the YouTube videos are working out really well. Um. Just getting like familiar with the pronunciation. Uh, my notepad for vocab, I, I really like. It's helping me teach like to form the words as I type them. It makes it easier for me to remember because I feel like I'm actually producing them. And then having my learning pad with um, some simple sentences on it. It's, yeah, it's it's doing a lot for me. I think. So, but I don't want to just sit and watch YouTube the entire time. I want to be actually like learning things. No one, like anybody, can go watch their own YouTube videos all the time. I'll find my own method. That isn't to say that I won't do that from time to time. An audiobook. Audiobooks are available. Online. These books can be downloaded to your system. These books have a number of online sessions. Writing audio speed will very well. Okay. Um, we'll throw this on here. Tips. Audiobook. Tips. Tips, tricks, and stream plans. An audiobook. See how many of these are actually useful. Free online. There are a number of free online Chinese classes that are available which provide their own basic Chinese lessons and most free practical vocab vocabulary. I, I, like it says free online classes, but like where am I gonna find them? Like, thanks for like the links. Language learning said a number of you are every summer. So it's yeah, it's a great idea, but if I search that, what's gonna happen? Oh, here we go. Yeah, I see here you go, fucking hundreds of dollars. No thanks. Making use of, wow. 
See, here you go, listen to that whole song. Well, the greatest of nations. She's forgot where it's at. He's a built in player. I appreciate you paid for Japanese plot. I think it was the first video I was watching, too. If it looks fun to do for stream, I'll buy it. With the number of only Chinese schools, the average Mandarin is one of the which is an online language course, a complete section of the course, scratch and fix the mission. There's enough setups. There's free one to one Chinese learning lessons that offer virtual. No, see, I didn't. Yeah. Ah, oh, Chinese grammar wiki. Submitted from a viewer. We're ahead of the game here. Free resources from the Chinese. In order to learn Chinese effectively, there are a number of free online resources. Anki. Good old Anki. YouTube. Huh, I found all the I I got all the good stuff right here. Here's and there's that. We're laughing. Oh you looks So we're gonna Ooh, I need to make a note. Resources list. New Chinese learning. This is probably it. Chinese pod. Roku. Freeform learning. How much does it cost? All right, so that's one month free. This is all in Chinese, so we're not worried about that right now. These look a lot like... Video streaming sites, I guess? Tatoeba, that's Japanese. Sure. How much? <laughs> Chinese 
Chinese language stack exchange. Pera pera kun. That's Japanese too. Okay, cool. We're gonna add this. Sure, we'll add stack exchange. Ta-da, ta -da. Oh, cool, awesome. Oh, this is great. Oh, no, this is totally great. Awesome. Definitely going in bookmarks. Oh, this is like uh, Yomi Chan. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, okay. Um, I want that. We got a bunch more tips to go through here. Um, Chinese books. People wish to learn Chinese faster and quicker, but the number of books I've been online, which are produced quicker, and there's number of learning, and then you can find Chinese reading book series. Back to past year, reader series, the Chinese reader series, Chinese reader made easy. Okay, cool. It's it's available for um flashcards. Yeah, okay. I'm good. I love Anki, so we're gonna put Anki there. I just don't have the time for it anymore. It takes so long to get through your reps. Skitter. Uh, WeChat. Yeah, I got dictionaries. I might as well look through it. Taiko, that's what I have.
Ah. Apps. Huh, nothing comes off for Skitter. Learn the basics is the first step to being involved with very tones, continue to words, learn the tones basics. Are important to order in Chinese correctly. The first, second, third, and fourth tone must be learned in the right manner in order to move. So focus on tones. Basic vocabulary is about what we do. Of course, counting, conversational phrases, which I'm already doing, grammar, which is why I have the grammar wiki. Learning online as a regular student. Learning paid, free website, learning research, free website, learning from Sam, the website offers interactive audio lessons, which are a perfect and simple way to start learning the Chinese language. They provide built-in pronunciation practices. Yeah, so I'm already looking for one of those from, based on what I found in this list. Uh, members forum. Students are linked with the members from the site and help students have time updates when you register with websites. I'm like, okay. Mandatory aspects. The number of sites to learn, they offer a number of important aspects of the Chinese language. Some of the aspects of learning Chinese language are Chinese words, phrases, verbs, learning one dictionary more. Oh, Spoken Chinese 900 for beginners with CD audios is a useful free download found here. The free download offers over 90 lessons with about 50 case portions of their Chinese key phrases, dialogues. And... That sounds amazing. Newspapers, free lessons, ebooks, podcasts, private class, cartoons, and crosswords. Uh, it's just gonna be free and fast. I wonder if you're versus online, learn the most so much. So, must only have the determination to learn language quickly and keep practicing all the basics in order to learn it quickly. Various mentioned above, resources you learn Chinese these days become very easy by means of various sources. Right, various sources that are available on the website. There are online Chinese tutors and also also available in our teacher Chinese. Oh, this is a really Pretty good article. I liked it. Not sharing it though. Mm -hmm. What was that spoken Chinese nine hundred? Okay, so it's gone. So spoken Chinese. Nine hundred.
Okay, we're gonna keep making a plan here. The last little bit of the stream. And we're gonna replace the learning with Ah, uh, the learning notepad, so we're gonna properties. Um Perfect. Blank page. So, here was our first. That was what we had first. Okay, so based on this information, number one. Oh, okay. I want focus on tones to be a big priority. Two, if I can get this spoken Chinese working, that'll be a main chord. So Sisters. I don't even know what's the word. Um, tools. That's a good one. So we have Tato Eva for sentences, words. Phrases. We have MDBG, MDB, MDBG for characters for character lookup. Okay, do this. What was Juku then? Oh, um, Oh. 
the dictionary map. And what was Juku again? Sentence searcher, that's a tool. We got that. Chinese learning stack exchange. Chinese boost. This was like um, lessons, I think. It was really good. I really liked it, I think. Yes, grammar reference. Fifteen minutes. Para para. Head up, head up. Instant word. Look up. Maybe the equivalent tones for the Chinese audiobooks. Uh, Chinese blog, I guess. really everything we went over. Okay, so after about, oh, let's just fix that. So I need to make this a bit bigger. Okay. 
unless I change the font, no, the word size, maybe 10. Oops, wrong one. 10. Perfect. Make this word size a little bit bigger again. Maybe up to 16. Yeah, that makes it easy to read. Okay, excellent, excellent. Yeah, I kind of like that right there. So let's take us the goals. Uh, opinion pronunciation. Pronunciation. I don't want to be pinning romanization to the characters just yet. I just want to go to read the romanization. That's important. I can make the attachment to the of the romanization to the characters later. I think. So. Clear. Pronunciation of words. I'm not super concerned about a ton of vocabulary because I'll be adding it as I go. Um, I think this is a good start. Uh, listening. I want to be sure I'm on top of listening because I was really not on top of listening when I started learning Japanese. It really hindered me later on. So listening, hearing. I guess what would I say? Hearing harmonization. Easily agree. This is all still so vague. And add a seven YouTube videos. This when when all else fails, there's YouTube videos. Yeah, I need to dear too. Yeah, eventually I want to get up, up, like I said before during the Stardew stream, something to write out the characters. Ah, you guys don't see that.
What if I just did this? Take away that. Take away that. All right, everything makes it on. I can scrap, just scrap. There you go. Everything's nice and tidy. Perfect. I like it. So let's end this off by going to paste bin again. No, 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 no. There we go. Uh, Japanese vocab edit. Adding literally one word. Chinese vocab. We added a few things to vocab today. No, we didn't. Not at all. Just this. No, 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 no. Don't print. Edit. Okay. Save. Ah, I can go for now. Tell us trees on. And this is the plan for Chinese. I gotta organize these all into like folders, I think. I can do that right now. It's five minutes. Let's use the folders. I don't know if that counts me as a unique visitor. It's probably, probably just all me. Okay. How do I add pro members only? Okay, so fine. Just wanted to organize it a little bit, but I guess I can't. That's that's the end here, guys. I know it's not. Pretty boring stream today. Just trying to feel all what I'm doing. I had a good time. A lot of good times. We will be starting 6 p.m. PST to 8 p.m. PST tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to be doing more Chinese, more Stardew. I want to maybe get my webcam up and running tomorrow. We're writing out some stuff while I play Stardew. Writing some characters. It'll be a ton of fun. And yeah, that's that's what we'll. We'll go for tomorrow. Until then, 